Hey there viewers, today we are going to talk about the new champion that's coming out in League of Legends by the name Orn. So today I'm on the official League of Legends website and we are going to look at exactly what new this Orn champion brings to the table. Where should we run to? We got the world in our hands and we're ready to play. They say we're wasted, but how can we waste it if we're up and never be dead? Okay, so it reads, Orn the fire below the mountain. More than most demigods, Orn values his piracy. Dwelling in solitude beneath an ancient volcano, he stokes bubbling cauldrons of molten stone to forge items of unsurpassed quality. Yet from these depths, Orn senses trouble. trouble. Divine beings are once again meddling in mortal affairs. During the upcoming wars, the Fraljord and the world will need a good blacksmith. A good blacksmith. Okay, so his abilities is passive, living forge, and master craftsman. Living forge. Orin can spell, spend gold to forge items for himself anytime he's out of combat. For convenience, suggested items appear in a special on-screen menu. Orin can also open the shop manually to build an item. Orin and his teammates have access to special upgrades for select items in the shop. Hmm. Each player is limited to one of these upgrades. Wow. Seems interesting. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see. Cool. So he basically crafts his own weapon. And his Q, Let's see. His Q is Volcanic Rupture. Barn slams the ground, sending out a fissure that deals physical damage and slows enemies. After a small delay, a magma pillar forms at the target location, functioning like a tiny wall for a few seconds. W blows breath. Bellows breath, sorry. Orn becomes unstoppable, shields himself, and bulges out flames. These flames deal a portion of the enemy's current health as magic damage. Each enemy struck by the final gout of flame become brittle. Orn's basic attacks knock back brittle targets. Brittle. When brittle, enemies suffer a portion of their maximum health as bonus damage when struck by immobilizing effects. Immobilizing effects also last longer when used on brittle enemies. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so basically, if you once he finishes using that flame on you, and it actually hits you, because you become brittle, basically. And he's able to hit you more damage, deal more damage to you, basically. And what I'm seeing so far, the Q is more like a trundle Q, I would say, except for it doesn't slow. It just does damage to you, unlike trundles. Unlike, unlike trundle zone, um, it doesn't do damage to you, it just slows you down. So it's kind of like the opposite of this Q that he has here. The E, Searing Charge. Orange charges, dealing damage to enemies he passes through. If Orange collides with Terrain while charging, the impact creates a shockwave that deals damage and nuts up enemies. 
This ability destroys player created terrain. Wow. Okay. Player created terrain. So I'm thinking Talia. I'm thinking Talia's wall. If it destroys player created terrain, I'm thinking Talia's wall. Probably even. <laughs> probably even on um, Azir's wall. I don't know. It's worth testing. It really is something worth testing. And it really does look like a Malphite ult, but it only knocks up when you, when it hits like a terrain. Whenever it hits the terrain. So this champ basically has abilities of other champs kinda forged into one. You can think of that. R the ultimate call of the Forge Board. Burn summons a massive fire elemental at the target location. It then travels toward him when increasing his speed. With increasing speed, enemies run over the elemental by the elemental, take magic damage and become brittle. Burn can recast this ability to forge to charge power. If he strikes the elemental with the charge. He redirected. The redirected elemental will then knock up all enemies struck, dealing the same damage as before and applying the brittle effect. Okay, so let's just watch this over again. Oh. Okay. So he summons, summons it and it comes towards him. Which is rather, I think it's a good ultimate basically, I would say so because it's not coming from his direction toward them, it's coming from their direction, from a fair distance away. So, you mean to say it's kind of like a, I would say it would be like a zoning alt, probably, could be a zoning alt, according to the situation you are in. Probably in team fights or something when everyone's health is low. Might be good. Probably, yeah. Yeah, but this gem seems pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. But I would like to see exactly what items there are available in this battle. Yeah, I would, I would really like to play this champ and find out exactly what he can do. Okay, so let's see. Playing as Orn. Orn prefers to do things himself. He dislikes bartering with the Whiff's merchants, so he forges his own gear. If he can't pin his enemy's ter terrain with Searing Charge, he brings the terrain to them with this <laughs> terrain to them with Volcanic Rupture. Orin is a leader on the battlefield. He initiates fights on his terms with the call of the Forge Lord, then charges in, bellowing and tearing apart his foes with titanic force. Okay, so let's play the video. Let's see what playing as Orin really is like. And you can comment below what you think about it. And it, as soon as it comes out on PBE, I will see if I can get some gameplay for you all. Does this all go? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Did you just see that? It came from that far distance and like. Wow. That also has some good range, I must say. That also has some damn good range. I want this to start to use it now. Alright. Oh, that was just the ultimate. 
Okay. The ultimate, the Q. Bellowing fire. Okay. Cool. My place is at my forge. Everyone else's place is out of my way. Wow. <laughs> what words of advice? Isn't just these words of advice I'm making? Is everyone saying that? <laughs> okay, so tips and tricks when playing Orin. Orin's lane staying power is second to none thanks to his ability to forge new items without returning to base. You'll want to study up on early game itemization options so you can quickly craft the right gear to counter your lane opponent. Cinch eat each of Orin's allies can build one of his unique item upgrades. Orin's teammates effectively have a higher goal cap than their opponents. Oh. Someone should tell Nessus there's a new late game god in town. Other champs who create terrain, Trundle, Azir, synergize extremely well with Orin. Since he can searing charge into champ made structures to knock up enemies. Likewise, allies like Poppy and Bane can pin opponents to volcanic raptors pillar. Which is true. Once a human nears, they're rarely standing again. Wow. Extras, let's see. Wait, are these the skins from Okay. He looks... Look at his face though. Like, look at this champ's face. <laughs> he has horns like a freaking buffalo. He has buffalo horns. He has a volcanic type hand. What's this? He's, he's kind of cylindric, cylindric type caps at the end of his ear. And then there's like a symbol on his hoof. Symbol on his hoof here. His eyes, his face kind of resembles like Rengar, but just with like just more buff and with a hook, basically. This shrimp is really, really weird, I must say. It's like an older looking ringer. Okay. Perfectionist. Oh, cool. Okay, so this is apparently going to be the skin for Orn. So, as opposed to the red volcanic one, which is the original one. There's this one that looks like Thor with his crafted hammer. And instead of having instead of having those long buffalo those long buffalo um, horns on the side, he instead has a a beard, like a Santa beard. <laughs> with let's say The hammer in his hand, short hand, short um, horn, a shorter horn, a lot shorter horn. Instead of his eyes being, instead of his eyes being orange, as supposed to be volcanic one, and this Thor-looking one, he has blue eyes, which goes along with the theme of his skin. So yeah, and then he has this kind of gem-looking thing. Yeah, it's kind of gem looking. <laughs> Thing on his <laughs> is he dying? Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to say about it. It just looks cool overall. I would really and truly get some gameplay for you guys exact as soon as it comes out on PBE. So look forward for that. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you didn't enjoy, tell me what I need to improve on. I'll see if I can get it done for you. 
and it will be better for the next video to come out pretty soon as soon as it comes out on PB. So again, thanks for watching. Support my channel, like, comment, subscribe if you have any questions. Um, ask me in the comments. Goodbye.